What's going on guys? This is Ethan, the Games Adjuster, and today, not reviewing a board game, we are reviewing a game topper. So, I started this channel uh, last week, or maybe two weeks ago now, and I've only done three videos on board games so far. Uh, the first video I did was on my regular table with just a uh, neoprene mat that I had purchased from another company, uh, or got that really as a Christmas gift a couple years ago. So been using that, everything had been great. I had been wanting to start a channel for a while uh, just to kind of get my thoughts on there, have a creative outlet to share my passion for board games with the community. And so uh, with that, after the first video, I was happy with the quality, given it was my first go, but I wanted to work on improving things and then also improving my overall tabletop experience just with my group that I play with and my family. So I went ahead and, and took the plunge. I went ahead and purchased a game topper system. I actually purchased that before the current Kickstarter. So as of today, there is a Kickstarter running for the 3.0 version of the game toppers uh, tabletops. I purchased mine on April 13th, so a week before it launched. Um, I could have probably waited and got a little bit more of a discount, but that's America, right? I wanted it now. So um, I went ahead and took the plunge. I was very anxious to get it. I wasn't sure when the Kickstarter would deliver. And so um, they had some stock on the table I wanted. And so I went ahead with the purchase. So uh, I've gotten it. I've played on it several times now. I've done a, two reviews on it, actually. So in the second and third video, you'll see. Uh, if you want to check those out, you should see the table topper in the back and be able to uh, enjoy that and, and see that improvement. So let me give you my thoughts on it. I am not sponsored in any way by Game Toppers, um, not in any partnership afterwards. I know I've seen some reviews and that was part of what informed my decision was review some folks that had, had looked at them. Um, but again, I'm not affiliated in any way. So I am just wanted to give you my thoughts as a customer or consumer that purchased it on their own, uh, spent the money, has gotten the chance to enjoy it, and I uh, want to share that with you so you can make an informed decision. So. Let me first show you some things that uh, have been included with the package and then I'll give you my final thoughts on it. So here we go. Okay, so the first thing I want to show you is the table itself, okay? And so let me start with what I've got already and then I'll tell you what I purchased. So my table, which you will see um, kind of down here, all right, is normally, 44 inches this way by 72 inches this way. So it's a little over three and a half feet wide, six feet long. Okay, so I do have a leaf that comes with my table, regular table, not the game topper. That is another 18 inches wide. So full length of table with leaf was 44 inches this way and then 90 inches this way, okay? So with that in mind, I was really looking at two different things. I was looking at the Watson, which really would be exactly the width. So play space would be 38 inches and then full width would be 45. And again, my table is 44, so kind of a perfect fit. And then lengthwise, it's a little shorter though, the Watson. That was only 60 inches play space and 67 inches long. So it would have been about two and a half inches on either side of the table that you would see my regular table not covered by the game topper. Now, beyond that, I was looking at the homes, but the homes is a little bit skinnier, so you would have the same kind of problem for my particular table on the width, but the length would have been perfect, actually a little overhang. And then there was the Mycroft, which was tempting because it's much wider, but it's almost too wide, I feel. Uh, for me to be comfortably sitting in here in my particular room. So I ended up going with the Watson, but not just the Watson. I went with the Watson, including the extension leaf. So for my particular table, it is as perfect a fit as you can get. With the extension leaf, which is another 24 inches in length, the total length of the game topper is 91 inches. My table is 90 inches. And then width is 45 inches. My table is 44. So again, in my situation, it was a perfect marriage. So um, now the table itself, I got the luxuriant oak. That's the middle tier of the three. You can get the uh, regular standard edition, which has this metal here uh, across from the top two. Uh, when I ordered again a week before the Kickstarter, 
they didn't have the standard available in the Scotland Yard package. And so I went ahead and paid the extra and I got the luxuriant oak. Now, my table's a little darker, so in hindsight, maybe I could have gotten with the premium, but it was a little bit more money. I think it was another 150 or $200 or so maybe. So I'm happy with a luxuriant oak. Plus side is it looks luxuriant, right? So when you have guest over, it's not just metal. It's got uh, this nice wood finish. Also plus side, the metal can get a little cold, the wood, not so much. So uh, now the corners here don't have the uh, wood, like the premium oak wood, the, even the corners are wooden too, but that's a minor thing. It really just depends on the aesthetic, I think. If you like the darker color, you probably want to go with that, but this lighter color is fine, and honestly, even the metal would have been fine too. When I first purchased this, the idea was to take it off and on, and as we put it on the table and realized, like, hey, you know, it's actually as easy as it is to take off and on for me, I just didn't feel like that's something I wanted to do. I primarily do board games in this space uh, with the channel starting and things like that. It just made more sense to leave it up. So this color is a perfect fit for my room and it looks good. Left up full time. It's not something that I think is an eyesore. I think it looks great and it is so functional when you start playing. So again, luxuriant oak, super plus. I really like it. Now, one minor con I'm going to mention, and it's not really that big a deal, but it bothers me. The leaf, if you'll notice here, I'm pointing it out here, it does not sit perfectly flush. Okay. And so the, the Watson without the leaf sits perfectly. There's no kind of, um, you know, bump, right? The rest of the leaf fits pretty good. That one side, so I don't know if it's just slightly warped maybe, minor thing, but when I, even with the mat over it, I can kind of feel the bump. It doesn't affect playing a game. It's not, again, not a big deal, but it just, mine did not fit perfectly. Also, I don't believe the extension leaves are cut with the same wood to match patterns. And what I mean by that is this oak pattern here will not continue around the whole side. So you can kind of tell there's a slight color change between this side of the game topper where the leaf is and then where the other side of the game topper is. Very slight. You can notice it though. So keep that in mind if you use the leaf. Now if you're not using the leaf, it's going to look pretty good. It's not going to really make a difference. I don't know again if each side of the table or the game topper is the same piece of wood and that way it matches. Again, I don't know. I'm sure Burke can answer that. They've been great. But um, just another thing I'll, I'll mention on the table. So let me now show you this mat. So I've ordered two mats, actually. The package I got came with one of these big XL mats for the Watson to be included with the leaf. And that was a red one. Now, since we decided to keep it up, we agreed that maybe the gray would look better. So I went ahead and purchased separately this gray mat. And the mat is awesome. It's such a good premium mat. Um, it's thinner than the one I was using before, and it's got these beautiful stitched edges, so that way you know it's not gonna fray or anything like that. And then all the mats come in these bags. This one here is for the cobalt blue. You'll see there it's got a little preview cut out, so you can check that out before you're picking. And so um, I've got the gray one for the huge table, the red one for the huge table, and then for the regular Watson without the leaf, I've also got a gray and a blue. Okay, now let's talk briefly about the bag that the game topper comes in, and then we'll move on to accessories. So here is the bag that it comes in, and you can see the table in the background. It's a big bag. Um, it's easy to carry because it's got these straps on it and there's you know, handles on the side. So if you wanted to you know, tag team it, someone else you can carry it that way or you can carry it yourself over the shoulder. Uh, it's got this nice embroidering with the Game Toppers logo. So that's a nice touch. It is a big bag though. So for me, I can sort of cause it, not a big deal. But although you can pack this away, if you get a Watson, you're going to have this big bag with it. 
that's not inclusive of the leaf. So with the leaf, you've got another bag. Now this bag does not have the embroidery. I would have liked that uh, as a nice little touch like the original bag does, but I mean, you know what they go to, so I think you're not gonna have any confusion. If you got a ton of bags like this, you'll probably figure out which one it is. But just so you know, it does not come with it, at least in mine, pre-Kickstarter, the Leaf did not come with that embroidered logo. But they are very good quality bags. Um, they basically fit one side of the game topper on one side, on the other side is the other game topper, and then there's um, zippers for each side to pull out each side individually. Um, and, and they fit nice, and they're packaged very well. There's these foam corners that basically sit in there and hold it in place, and I kept those as part of the original packaging just so that every time I put it back, I can make sure that the edges aren't going to somehow mess up the bag. I don't think that they would even without, but I'm OCD like that and I want to make sure and, and I want to protect my investment. So uh, this is something maybe you just want to consider when you get yours. I am going to show you the thumb screw and bracket component that holds each side of the game topper and or leaf together. Uh, so here we go very quickly. This bracket has two thumb screws in it. And what you'll do is you'll loosen them up to slide them to the appropriate space between each side of the game topper for leaf. So this is my leaf, this is the game topper, and there's a slight color difference I was talking about. Uh, but at any rate, you can then tighten these so that you have it about even on either side. Once you've tightened them, it's not going anywhere, uh, which is a very easy way to do this and a very ingenious way that they've done a good job with this rail system. Also, uh, this rail system is how you're going to hook on your accessories, which we'll show shortly. Uh, last thing I'll mention on the table itself, or two more things. One, on the back side, there is this nice 3M material that holds it to the table so it's not going to slide around. Um, now, I mentioned earlier the overhang issue. That was a room space related issue, not a safety of table issue. And so what I mean by that is if I was using a regular fold-out table, uh, this would still hold on to that very well. Now, depending on whose body weight you're throwing on one edge, could it lift up the table as well as the game topper? Yes, of course. But is it going to slide around on the table? No, because that material does a good job of sticking to the surface that you're on. And on my table, it's a perfect fit, so I really don't have to worry about the overhang. But uh, if that is something that you're doing, you're throwing this on top of a smaller table, you're not gonna have to worry about it sliding. I would not throw my body on top of the one edge because you might pick up both the table and the topper, but if everybody's you know, being cognizant of that, you shouldn't have a problem. Uh, one other thing I'm going to mention about the table itself is this rail here for cards. And so here, pick some cards from the very polarizing, I'm not sure why, game of Wingspan. And as you can see, they fit in here like a dream. And so this is perfect for any game where you've got some, a hand of cards that you're trying to play from and you want to have them in front of you. If you've got uh, children, they have smaller hands, right? So this is perfect for them. And then also, uh, if you have a hidden goal, maybe how many times have you had your hidden goal down here and you're like, oh, what was that goal again? Oh yeah, let me look at that. I'm going to put it back down. Well, with this, you can leave it up here and it's perfect. So another good uh, pro of this game topper system really enjoy this. I you know, didn't realize how convenient it was until I had it. And it's uh, kind of made my previous card holders, which are just little wooden um, pieces that I had just sitting on my table, pretty much obsolete. So this is awesome. All right, moving on to accessories. Here we go. Okay, so here I've got one of the box of accessories that you will get. So I have again ordered the Scotland Yard package. And what this came with was cup holders and these uh, accessory or bits component trays with dice corrals and two dice towers. So the dice towers don't actually come into this box, uh, but the component trays, the four dice corrals, and the legs do. And so the legs will come in these individually packaged baggies. Everything else will come, I believe they came wrapped. I unwrapped them because I'm going to keep them in this box. Uh, and then there's also instructions that tell you what to do. So this component tray is very neat. It's got uh, four wells here for your components. It's got a couple spaces for your dice. And then it's got this area here that you can hook on one of these dice towers. So it fits right in there. Oop. 
and now you've got a fully functional dice tower. Uh, so that's very neat. Um, I'm going to talk about the dice tower a little bit later. Uh, and these feet fit in there very easily. There's a pair for each side. Now they don't, like if you're OCD, one side has kind of got this concave area, and the other side is flat. A pair does not make it such that it's like a flat covering on either side, so you don't see the concave part. They are just copies of the same one side. So uh, again, it's functionally fine, but you're going to have, looking this way, nice smooth edges. Looking this way, it's concave. But you need to have the curved edge on the back, the flat edge on the front for it to sit into the table properly. So again, minor thing, but something I noticed, and I'm very OCD about things. Um, okay, so that's basically what came in here, and again, that came with four of these, four dice corrals, which can be included on the bottom of the component tray or just set it on the table, it's used separately to roll dice in, and four set pairs of legs. Okay, so that's what came in this box. Now, this box had all of the cup holders, and so let me just first show you the cup holders themselves, and then I'm going to show you the way they go into the rail. So the cup holder very neat it is this uh hdpe i think that's high density polyurethane maybe um very thick heavy sturdy uh plastic here with this rubberized gasket or material where you can push it out to give yourself this three-dimensional uh, space here for your cup holder and then it's got a small area in here where it's like small gatorade bottles maybe or um, soda cans things like that can fit right into that space. Um, now, with the current kickstart, I saw that one of the stretch goals they have is basically these coasters that will fit into this area. And I will say that is a huge boon for the current kickstarter because although this will fit coffee mugs and some of the larger um, beverage holders, it's not a perfect fit. So if your coffee mug maybe kind of fits into this little hole here, it can kind of tip a little bit or if you've got one of those big sport drink bottles, same kind of thing. If it's too fat around the base and it doesn't fit in this hole, if you place it down without looking, you might fit it part of it into the hole and it kind of tip over a little bit. So coasters, I wish they had them when I bought it. I was a little anxious and again, didn't wait for the Kickstarter. So if you're waiting for that, you're gonna have that benefit. So that's really cool. Um, but yeah, when you're using them, you can pop them back in, pop it back out, easy peasy. Got a space here that you can put your phone on or other little bits that you have off the table and then they've got these acrylic covers as well that you can pop in and then you can set things on top of that um, now the kickstarter i believe does also have cardboard covers that might be coming with these or that you can buy separately which is cool in case you know you don't want the acrylic and you want something cardboard then that's that's something you can get so there are four of these single cup holders and there are two of these double one and again same material same setup big piece of acrylic here for both and then there's two wells and then there's four wells up here for uh, your bits so very well crafted very sturdy very neat and very functional and so stick, speaking of the functionality let me just scoot this back a little bit just so you can kind of see how this goes on and it's very simple you will take your cup holder tilt it this way slide it in that's it so movement wise unless you've really jostle it and really hard it's not going anywhere up and down it's not going anywhere the only way you can move it is to tilt it up move it left or right and then slide it back flat so very handy very functional very good quality love that okay moving on now i have a demo for us using this so here is the component tray with the pair of legs on the bottom. You will put the curved edge down here first, then pop down over the top. And then this will be able to slide along this rail. Once you put the dice tower in, it will function as a dice tower. And then here, I've got some dice from Wingspan again. Uh, and if you, you can slide these down the dice tower and they will roll out just like that. Now, one thing I'm going to mention on the dice tower is it's a little loud, doesn't come felted, it's just plastic. And although you can throw in these uh, dice corrals, 
they don't always stop the dice. So, example, dice corral is in it now. I know it's kind of hard to see. Let me see if I can give you a better angle. Here we go. Dice are going in. Boom, one flew out. Now this is five dice. So with maybe one die, maybe it doesn't happen. No, so it's gonna stay in there. Maybe two die, probably okay. You get a lot of die, a handful of die, you might lose one out the corral. Doesn't happen all the time. Corral walls are pretty tall, so if you actually look at them, it's pretty thick. Here's a finger for the comparison, but it can happen. So that's it for those. The other thing I want to show you is it also came with two poker chip trays. And these poker chip trays I love. Not because I play poker, but they are perfect little component bins. So the other day we were playing near and far, and I had all my faction tokens in here, and they're so easy to get out of because they have these curved edges. Love these. If nothing else, take the legs off, throw these on the table, and they are amazing for components. So I didn't think at first that I would love these as much. I thought I would be using maybe this for that same purpose. But in all actuality, these are better because they have these longer uh, bins to pull out of, and they're not square, and they have these perfectly round edges, so you can throw all your components in here, pull them out easy peasy, and there's two of these in there. So, wish there was maybe even more of these and less of these, honestly, but uh, that's a me thing. But in the package, you'll get two of these, four of these, two dice towers, four pairs of legs, and then four single cup holders, two double cup holders. All right, so that's basically everything there is to see. I'm going to go back over to the chair and give you my final thoughts on the whole package in its entirety. Here we go. Okay, so that was the game topper, an in-depth review or overview of what it came, came with, um, what accessories there were, how they all functioned. So let me give you my final thoughts, um, and this will be pretty brief. Overall, I am very happy with my purchase. Um, and so I'm going to mention a couple things that... I don't know if it's uncouth or not, but I'm going to mention it anyways, is total price, which again, pre-Kickstarter, for the Scotland Yard package, which, which came with everything I showed you, the extension leaf for the Watson that came with another mat and, and a bag for the mat and the bag for the leaf, uh, and then an, an additional purchase of a, another XL mat because it got red. I wanted gray instead. I almost like emailed like, oh, my bad, you know, I, let me just get a different color. Um, because I just got it and made that decision, but it's fine. I wouldn't purchase another one. That's that's my fault. So total price after shipping everything was $2,011. Okay, so with the Kickstarter right now, you are going to get a discount on that. And you are going to get some of those other items like coasters and, and things of that nature. Uh, with the Kickstarter, they, they also have dining covers and legs. If you don't have a table already, you can basically make your game topper a full table system, which is very neat. Not something I'm interested in because I already have a table. And that's the whole reason I went with this. So when I throw that number out, it's not to scare anybody, right? Because you are, you get what you pay for is what I've always grown up with. So the quality here is amazing. The way it came packaged was a huge box, uh, two huge boxes that it came in. And they were well packed together. The foam to protect everything baggies on all the accessories the boxes with the accessories actually came in the big bag that the table came in to just make sure everything's protected and it was very well done and i'm very happy with that and it arrived super quick so uh, i ordered it like on a sunday night uh and it got here like on a wednesday for my area so very awesome i ordered the mat like on a friday and it got here like the following tuesday or wednesday so um two separate purchases leaf bundle together one XL mat separately, everything came in very timely with tracking through UPS. And so that was great. Um, even emailing just before I purchased it, I was emailing game toppers to see if the Mycrop would be back in stock or when it would be back in stock. Um, and they basically said, hey, yeah, it'll be in the Kickstarter, you can get it. Um, but you know, you may want to think about the size because it's more for like miniature gamers. It is a pretty large table. I really appreciate, I think it was Berkey that, that responded, or anyways, that was in the signature. So whether it's him himself or someone else on the team, you know, it was very prompt response. I emailed that Sunday night, got a prompt response back like Monday at seven in the morning and emailed him back saying, hey, thanks for the reply. I, you know, I really appreciate it. I went ahead and pulled the trigger on the Scotland Yard bundle, but I appreciate you getting back to me. 
they said, yeah, you know, thanks for, for shopping with us and we appreciate it. And so it was very awesome to see that in such a quick response from what seems like the main guy, right? So uh, very awesome. And I think that's the experience you're going to get. If you have any problems, if you email them, I think you're going to get a prompt response right away. Um, and so uh, one small thing I'm going to mention is the dice towers themselves. I've already kind of mentioned they're a little loud. My, I don't believe they came in a box. If I'm remembering correctly, they came in the big box with the game topper and they were just kind of put on the bottom with the big bag. Now, initially I did not notice any problems with them. They seemed to be functioning fine. One of them I did notice was cracked at the top. So I don't know if that's something that happened afterwards or it was already cracked, but it, I could see it being the latter where it was in the big box with the huge game topper tables and maybe it just kind of cracked a little bit. Um, let me see if I can grab it here. It's this one here. It's not major, but you can see if I push it in a little bit, you can see it's cracked. But if it's like this, you know, it's fine. So it functions fine. I might just glue it, but it did come cracked. Um, and you know, the dice towers I like, but they're not a necessity. I have a nice wooden one that I have on the table previously. And I oftentimes will just use that one instead, just cause these are loud. Now I may home project felt those myself. I may also build some coasters myself through corkboard or something like that because I missed out on those uh, benefits with the Kickstarter. But that's again, my impatience, not something that was previously offered and, they, and that I didn't get. So uh, again, overall, I think if you have a table already and you're not in a position where you want to get a dedicated game table for, you know, with a dedicated one, they get very pricey. I looked at one just before getting this. It was like $2,500, just table, smaller play space without chairs and everything else. But again, for me, I already have table. I already have nice chairs. I don't need that stuff. So this, even though, yes, 2000 on the surface seems like a big number, it's really not when you consider all the other things I get, the bags, the mats, the mats themselves with you know, any good company you look at, they're 100 plus bucks on their own. So I've got four of those. I can switch those out. I can wash them. I've got all the accessories, component holders, dice towers, dice corrals, the cup holders that are really awesome. Uh, there's, you know, eight basically beverages you can hold for individuals with the two doubles. I mean, that's a ton of stuff and it's very good quality. So uh, all that to say, if you are interested in backing this, I would certainly recommend it um, or even purchasing online. I think they still have stuff for sale right now. Now you will get the discounts again. So hindsight's 2020, maybe I should have waited, but you never know. Um, I was just wanting to kind of grow the channel myself and, and start improving things right away. And so that's, again, my impatience, not uh, anything get for game toppers. But at any rate, that's my thoughts. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Also, I am considering maybe doing like a what's my setup video. So if that's something you might be interested in, please let me know and I'll consider that as well. Thank you for your time and have a good day.